Welcome back. Today we have the 2122 OPG Platinum Blaster Boxes this time around. Didn't bother picking up the Hobby Box again because they didn't want to dish out that kind of money for the value that we were seeing and that I saw online people were getting. It wasn't too great. So nothing new came out this week. So I thought I'd run it back and try to test my luck at the cheaper versions. Now, of course, given that these are Blaster Boxes, we're not going to be expecting nearly as good of hits as we would in a Hobby Box. But nonetheless, I'm still curious to see what we can find in this, and maybe, who knows, it'll be a better value than the hobby box that we opened up a couple weeks ago. This came in at $35 a box, so $70 for the two, and yeah, not a bad price, 24 cards each, 48 cards total, and apparently we can look for rare autographed rookie cards. So I think we got one of those in the hobby box. Let's see if we can get the same kind of card in this one. Because that would be uh, maybe my sign to go back to blasters. Alright, I'm not sure what the breakdown is for each pack. But I can tell you they're a little thicker than what I thought they'd be. Especially for a blaster pack. But no way to find out until we open it up. So let's do that. A lot less cards. Obviously four cards. Or sorry. Yeah, four cards in these packs. Twelve cards in the hobby packs but we still got our interesting base cards aaron ekblad our first rainbow is going to be jackson cates nice and dakota joshua and lastly anze kopitar so yeah that's probably going to be the break one hit per pack instead of the three hits per pack that we saw in those hobby packs but jackson cates rainbow not a bad way to start of course in these packs as well we also have those special Parallels like this one, I'm sure is going to be that neon yellow parallel. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the other ones are, or what the numberings are, but hopefully we'll find out soon. We got Vidic Vanacek, Ross Colton, and our first neon yellow is going to be Alex Newhook. Not a bad player. Marky Rookies, of course. And it's called Neon Yellow Surge. No number, but still a cool looking card and definitely something we couldn't pick up in the hobby box. So... Cool to see that, and finishing off with Josh Norris. Keeping it moving, we got Andre Vasilevsky. Looks like another rainbow behind there. Or no, it's Sunset, maybe. Jamie Drysdale and Sunset Mackenzie Blackwood. Nice. Again, no numbering there. Not really sure if we're going to be expecting any numberings in this box, but finishing off with Jake Letcherson. All right, halfway through the first box, and... Got a couple cool hits. Obviously nothing too special, but it's a blaster box. Ryan Getzlaff, another neon yellow. Spencer Knight and the neon yellow is going to be Eli Tolvanen of the Nashville Predators. Very cool. And Marc-Andre Fleury. Adam Fox, Jack Aiken, and Retro Austin Matthews. That's a cool pickup. No Retro Rainbow, but it's still very cool and repaints. Another thing I'm just noticing is Austin Matthews is on both the Blaster and Hobby Box covers. So that's interesting. I feel like it's normally different. But uh, Brad Marchand, Trevor Zegers photo driven. Interesting. Nice. And Neon Yellow again, Evgeny Malkin. And finally, Semyon Varlamov. And that is a wrap for the first box. See what we can find in the second one. It's been a while since I opened a blaster box, so I'm not sure if we're supposed to be guaranteed a hit or anything special. I guess not. But I uh, definitely didn't see anything major in the last one besides that rainbow, which looks like we're getting right off the bat again. Cole Perfetti, Marky Rookies, Rainbow Parallel. Nice. Frederick Allard and Patrice Bergeron. All right, looks like we got another neon yellow. That seems to be a common theme in here. Jonathan Huberdeau, Philip Gustafson, and neon yellow is going to be Nils Lungfist. Marky Rookies. And Dylan Dubé. Still waiting for that auto that uh, was printed on the box here. Don't think we're going to get it, but we got a die cut. That's pretty cool. Ryan Johansson, die cut's going to be David Pasternak. And wow, retro rainbow. Wasn't expecting that, and it's a rookie. And it's Kalen Addison of the Minnesota Wild. Definitely not gonna complain about that. That's a pretty solid hit, especially from a blaster box. I think in the hobby box, we got one of those, and it was Igor Shesterkin. So yeah, I'll take that. And Ugo Pekka Lukanen. So we actually got two hits in that pack, the die cut Pasternak, as well as the retro rainbow. Also saw that in the last pack of the first blaster box. So maybe that's a thing, maybe it's not, I don't know. Adrian Kempe, 
Ollie Alston, Neon Yellow, Alex I Follow of the Kings, and Braden Shen. Down to our last two packs. That double double hit pack probably was the biggest part, but only one way to find out. Evgeny Malkin, Neon Yannick, uh, Retro, Quinn Hughes, and Nick Schmaltz. Last pack of this two blaster box opening. Hopefully, well, we're probably gonna see another neon yellow, knowing this. Yep, yeah, that's another neon yellow. Jake Gensel, and photo driven again. Alex, a new hook this time. And neon yellow is gonna be Alex Kerfoot of the Maple Leafs. Nice, finishing it off with Timo Meyer. Taking a look at what we picked up, of course, nothing too special. We had our base cards, which were no different than the base cards we saw in the hobby box. But what was different was these neon yellow surges, these neon yellow surge parallels. And these seem to be the most common parallels, obviously, that we see in these blaster boxes. And I'm not gonna complain, they look pretty cool. You know, some people probably don't like them, but I don't mind them. I don't like parallels in general, but these are not half bad. And you get plenty of them to go around, so that's pretty cool. Kind of like the rainbows of the hobby box, if you will. But we all we were also able to snag a couple of those down here. We got two of those Jackson Cates and Cole Perfetti, both marquee rookie rainbow re uh, rainbow parallels. So I'm not going to complain about that either. I mean, one per box is not not bad at all. Got a sunset parallel too, Mackenzie Blackwood. We saw those in the hobby boxes as well. Some of the more boring inserts, photo driven, we got two of those, Zegris and Newhook, and one die cut of David Pasternak, which I like these cards. Uh, we got, I think we got Cole Caulfield in the hobby box, but David Pasternak is not a step down, that's for sure. Picked up a few retros, two of the normal ones being Matthews and Quinn Hughes. And then we got a retro rainbow, which was actually a really good hit for one of these blaster boxes, and it's Kalen Addison. So overall, I mean, Definitely not a disappointing break. Much less disappointing, that's for sure, than the hobby box that we broke a couple weeks ago. So yeah, I mean, for for the average person like me, I'm definitely not gonna pick up another hobby box. But, you know, if you haven't picked up this specific product yet, Blaster Box is not a bad way to go because you still get some cool cards. You obviously, you probably won't get in any autos or any cool serial numbered cards, but like I said, you still get a bunch of cool cards. You still get access to those rainbow poles, these retro rainbows as well. You still get those uh, those normal inserts being photo driven or die cuts. So you pretty much have access to majority of the product, just not those massive hits. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. See you in the next one. Take care.